What if Deku have one percent of werewolf and vampire? So let's begin. In the last one, Sen Okami and the other get their acceptance letter. A few weeks has passed, and five of them go to UA at the same time. When they walk inside of the UA, everyone look at five of them because there are two gorgeous girls following one boy, and the other two boy is following somewhat following. The boy in front. They somewhat think is that guy's a uh, their boss or something, or a leader. Are they a misfit? They all of the students think. And and there one girl, accidentally don't see his way. He accident she accidentally. Bam to Izuku. She fall and Izuku's and the girl say, "Oh, sorry." And Izuku say, "No, I should be more careful." So let me help. Okami and Moka seeing this, somewhat jealous and pow. And the girl say. Thank you, while blushing, because Izuku somewhat cute. She think that Izuku somewhat cute. And Okami and Moka seeing this, and both of them somewhat glare at the girls. The girls seeing this, so he he know that to not go, to try to get him. So he say, "Hmm, by the look of it, you quite popular with the girl." Izuku was confused and say, "Huh?" The girl say, "Nothing. I think you should go. See ya." And the girl go away. Izuku was confused to what the girl say, and he look back, and he somewhat, somewhat surprised to see what Moka and Okami is. Both of them is pouting right now, and Izuku say. Did I do something? He look at Bakugo and Shinzo, and both of Shinzo and Bakugo look at each other, and then they face palm themselves and say, "Though no, you did nothing wrong, let's just get going to our class." Five of them go to find their class, and when they go find the class, they see a big giant door, and. Five of them say, "Why are these doors so big?" And then all of them think, "Oh yeah, there might be uh, some student that have a uh, their body quite big because of the court. So this was this is quite normal." And all of them come early to school. They open the door to see that there are two students. One is a blue hair boy with a glasses. The another one is a a a girl with a black hair with a ponytail. Five of them don't take a mind of it, and they go to sit to their place. Go find a seat and sit at their place. Izuku sit at the same place. While Moka and Okami, while Moka no Izuku sit on the corner of or the behind, behind the behind of class and the corner, so he can see the viewer, he can see the view of the outside, and Moka and Okami, Okami. Sit beside Deku, and Moka is sit in front of Deku. Shinzo 
and Bakugo saying this. So they think to sit far away from Deku because they don't want to get in their mess. If something happened, they just want to watch. So they sit far. Bakugo and Shinzo take their seat, and Bakugo put his seat on the desk. He does say this, and he say, "How can you do that? That is respecting the school and the the student who sit on this table." And Bakugo say, "Say, huh? Why should I care?" Both of them is arguing, and Izuku. Don't want to take any of this crap. So he tell Bakugo, Bakugo, please, just put your your feet down. Bakugo gradually put his feet and say, "Oh, fine." He does say this, and he go to Izuku and say, "Thank you for doing that." And Izuku say, "No worry." And Izuku, Izuku say, "Hey, Faisken, are you that boy that we Faisken? You Tanya Ida, right?" And Tanya just remember who he is and say, "Oh yeah, you Izuku Midoriya. So you in the class one A as the CSB?" And Izuku say, "Yeah. I hope we can be a friend." And Ida say, "Yeah, me too." Bunch. A few minutes has passed, and the other classmate come. They chat, and they ask Izuku because he have the highest point ever. And they ask Izuku what his quirk, and Izuku say that he actually quirkless, and everyone joy is drop. And Aizawa hearing it, and he he accidentally hit his head under the table. Everyone hearing something coming from the table, and they all of them look. And Aizawa come out and say, "Oh, ouch! That hurts." And they see that there are someone. All the students see there are someone that are stay, is actually wearing, is on a sleeping bag, instead of a sleeping bag, and he take out, and he say. No, he yawn and say, "It take you guys about eight minutes. Not good enough." Aizawa go to his bag and pull a sport uniform and tell them to go change, and we have a cold apprehension test. And let's say, it does say. But what about the ceremony? And Izuku tell Ida that I think we shouldn't care about that type of stuff because in the hero world we cannot wait for that type kind of thing. So I think we should go follow what he say. And I think he is our homeroom teacher. And Ida. He does think that Izuku might write and maybe write, so he say that it's true. So I will, and by the look of it, you quite smart. So I will follow you. Your advice. Ida, Ida, Bakugo, Shinzo, Izuku, Moka, and Okabe go out of the classroom, and the other kid do the same. Stuff, do the same thing. In the changing room, everyone take off their shirt and they look at Izuku to see that Izuku have quite an app, and they look at Shinzo and Bakugo and they see that both of them almost on par with Izuku's body build, and they ask if three of them work together. Actually work out together and both two of them say yeah. But but Baku say this, 
But Izuku more stronger in the physical because we, me and Shizu have to train our quirk, and he quirkless, so he focus his his training on on his strength and speed and agility. Everyone was surprised and say and say so he really is quirkless. And Baku say, "Yup, he is." And Izuku look around to see that Mineta is trying to take a bait on a girl on the girl changing room. And and Shizo and Baku saying this, and both of them sigh and they think, "Well, nice not knowing you, kid. Nice not knowing you." Izuku go to Mineta and he put his hand on Minata's shoulder and Minata say, Dude, just wait, let me take a look on the girl. And Izuku and Izuku make Minata turn his face to look at him. And Minata somewhat scared because he see Izuku is quite scary right now, glaring him with a dead eye and then he Izuku slap Mineta and this no he literally bitch slap Mineta to the wall and the boys say well he kind of deserve that no they think that and the girl and Jiro Listening to what they are talking, and this Jiro say, I think there are one of the boy try to take a peek on us, but the there are one boy that actually respect us and slap the pervert, and Okami and Moka look at each other, and tell. Say at the same time, I think Izuku will kill somebody. I hope this will won't be a blood blood, a blood bath. No, they say I hope there won't be a corpse. And the girl look at them and ask, "What do you mean by that?" And both of them say that. You see. No. They say, you see, you see that, right? The boy that get the first place. The girl nod, and Izuku, and Mo, Okabe and Boka look at each other and nod, and say that he actually somewhat our bodyguard. And he quite, he can be a little bit dangerous and violent. If you are pervert and try to hit us, and the girl tell them about one time Izuku beat about thirty guy, a thirty guy try to try to try to hit on them. And the thirty guy, about thirty guy, pe- pe- about thirty people, he beat them and sent them to a hospital. And the girl somewhat scared and they ask, and he heartless, right? And the Okami and Moka say, "Yup." And the girl think to themselves, "Thank God he's not a villain, or else." He would be a real problem. Anyway, everyone done changing, and they go to the to the field. Aizawa tell Bakugo to come here and throw the ball as far as he can using his quirk. Bakugo throw the ball, and it get about one thousand meter. Everyone was in shock, and everyone take turn. And when it come to Izuku, 
It's a good throw it. About hmm, forty thousand meter. Everyone jaw is drop. What is shock? He was Aizawa. Aizawa tried to read Izuku quirk. But Izuku don't have a quirk. And, and Aizawa thinks to himself. This kid not lying about he don't have a quirk. If he if I do if he ever go to the dark side I might think that even all my will have a problem with him. Aizawa think that and when it come to race, Ida gets second because Izuku defeat him with in speed. In every test, Izuku got second, third, or second, third, or first. But uh, in the ball throw, he only gets second. Under Uraka, because Uraka have uh, the gravity quirk, and Aizawa say this first before they start the match, before they start this, and he say that oh, by the way, if you don't take this seriously, I will expel one of you. You know what? Yes, expel one, and. After that, over the last place it was Mineta, and he was. Izawa told them to tell Mineta to pack his bag. The day has gone. The day has passed. A few, and they go to do the same thing. And one day, all might come to the classroom, and they say, "I," c he say, "I am here, walk like a normal person." And Moka, Bakugo, Shinzo, Okami, and Izuku came to his cell. A normal person would not say that, say that like an idiot. But other student. Was excited and shout, "All my! It was all my!" All my laugh and he say, "Ha ha ha! Today we will do a hero vs villain training. So let's get ready. Everyone get ready, and they go to go. They go to change into their hero suit, hero costume." And Izuku, Shizu somewhat like Mr. Aizawa hero costume, and Baku is the same. But his color though is not as big as before. And Izuku costume is somewhat like in the, huh, it's somewhat like in the canon, but it's the. Third version. It's about yeah the after Izuku learns the shoot style. Anyway, Boka and Okabi costume is somewhat hmm. I don't know to what type of costume I should give them. Yeah, I have an idea. Boka have a somewhat, a, a suit, but for a girl, she somewhat look like a butler. But her, his suit is actually made what of a Kevlar, so it's quite durable. And Okami clothes is somewhat, is a jeans and. She only wearing a short jean, to the knee cap, and wearing a jacket, and wear a bulletproof 
a bullet proof armor on her upper part and the jacket covering him and both Okami, Boka and, Iz- and Izuku as well have a gas mask and they see that and the other see that both Okami and Boka costume is somewhat like Izuku. Izuku costume have a a pouch, a belt with a pouch, and they see that there are gas masks and a flashbang, and they see that Okami and Boka have the same thing. They ask Izuku, Okami, and Boka. But why are their costumes somewhat like Izuku? And they say that Izuku actually somewhat recommend us to make it like this. To make it more versatile. So we can have a surprise. Have an element of surprise. Everyone understand this. And all of my say. And you guys look great. So let's begin this match. We will do hero vs villain and it does say as so are we will vs a fake villain and all might say not really actually we will do two type of team the first team is the hero team and the second one is the villain team and and either and either say but all might say, Sir, there have one problem. We only have about nineteen student, and because of Midata getting a spell, Obai just realized this and he tried to take of something. And Izuku say, "I think I can go solo." Obai look at Izuku and ask, "Are you sure, young Minoria?" And Izuku nod and he said, yeah, I think I will be okay. Bakugo, Bakugo and Shinzo support this because they know how strong Izuku is. So, all might agree with this. Everyone have their match. And Bakugo and Shinzo is on the same team. But and Boka and Okabi as the same team. Izuku is alone and he will fight well Toroki and Ida and the villain team is Toroki and Ida and he, Izuku, the hero team is Izuku and the Padrokovic is just the hero. I might tell them to start their preparation Izuku, Izuku watch all his classmates and how their quirk is and what their quirk is and Izuku see that Todoroki has a ice quirk and somewhat a fire quirk so and Ida has an engine quirk and Izuku think that Todoroki might will try to face this whole entire area where I come in so I have to be more careful All might tell them to start the batch. Izuku is go inside of the Izuku go to inside of the building. Toroki immediately start freezing the entire building. And the it started to freeze Izuku. And Izuku stopped bo- moving and Toroki say All might it's already done. He cannot And all might say, actually, yup, Toroki, I think you should not be so cocky. Toroki was confused and he think of something. Don't tell me that he escaped the ice. And Izuku is actually escaping the ice. He breaks the ice by just sheer force of walking. Everyone that's seeing this, 
was surprised except for the four the four of the close to Izuku Izuku walked and tried to find the bomb Toroki faced the entire place to make it more harder and he made an ice barrier to the door and Toroki said that should keep him for a while to just break the ice and then the wall just shattered and Izuku said Fuck you! Toroki was in shock Wait a second Sorry about that Anyway Toroki say, How did you Before Toroki can ask anything Izuku cut him off and tried to punch the Rocky, the Rocky immediately clean an eye to attack Izuku. Izuku dodged it. And Izuku somewhat slip off because of the the floor is bald. It's actually covering with ice. And Izuku think to himself, this would be more tricky. Hmm. The Rocky shout to Ida to attack Izuku. And Ida tried to attack Izuku. Izuku see this. So he He slammed one of his head. Make a fist and slam it to the ground. Shatter the eyes. And when Ida tried to run, he accidentally slipped off. Slip up and fall. And Izuku take the chance to stand up. The Rocky tried to attack Izuku. Izuku dodged left to right. And the Rocky wa was confused why Izuku that to that why that he slipped at all. And he looked to the to the ground and see that Izuku smashing his thumb to the the wall to make the ice shatter so he can walk. Toroki was surprised to say this and he got it angry and he accidentally activated his fire and Izuku said this and and Toroki and Izuku smelled something something familiar about Todoroki Izuku walk. Izuku moving around, and one of the ice attack attack the the camera, so no one can see it. And All Might was saying, "God damn it!" And Bakugo, Shizu, Boka, and Okabe saying this, and they take to something. That was on purpose. Why did he do that? Unless. And all of them think they're done of their web slash of vampire here. Izuku turned off. Izuku somewhat turned off his microphone. And he go to Toroki and quietly Turn off the rocky microphone and he say, So, you're a vampire, am I right? The rocky one is shocked and he say, How did he think to himself? How did you? And before the rocky can take anything else, Izuku give the rocky chop to the head, chop to the neck, knocking him out, and, and he take. The Rocky using the capturing tape and Ida seeing this so he immediately go to attack Izuku. Izuku jump backward and he he see that Ida movement is a little bit slower because of the ice. Wait a second. 
Sorry about that. He just seeing this. No, Izuku see this. So he see there are pillar, and Izuku have an idea. Izuku jump on the pillar. And Ida was surprised to see what Izuku what are doing. Ida tried to follow Izuku movement, but he was getting confused because Izuku getting faster and faster. By jumping to pillar, to pillar, and to pillar, Ida and Izuku take waiting for Ida to blame for a second. And when Ida do that, Izuku smirk and he immediately jump at Ida, and he immediately give a punch to Ida because Izuku's sight is is quite good. Izuku punch Ida to the ground and he go to, he try to look for the bomb and he see that there a giant ice cube a iceberg no a giant ice so Izuku go to the ice and he smash the ice and Izuku activate his microphone and he say that um, all my I already touched the bomb, so I am the winner, right? And Orbit say, yeah. And Orbit ask, Yamidora, why did you hear anything? I Why can't I hear anything from you? And Izuku say, I think I accidentally turned off my microphone. Sorry, Orbit. Orbit say, you don't need to be sorry, Yamidoria. Izuku lying about that. And Izuku take Baku. Izuku go to Ida and help Ida stand up and say, That was a good match, Ida. And Ida say, Yeah, that was amazing, Izuku. You are quite strong to just. You are on your own and you have to fight. The two of us. I impress. And Izuku say, huh, Thank you. Izuku go to Todoroki and carry him to the to the monitor room. And Bak and Izuku ta and always say, That was amazing. So, but now let's start the bash. The second bash. The second bash is Bakugo versus Oka Bakugo and Shinzo versus Okami and Okami and Boka. Boka and Okami is the villain, and Bakugo and Shizu is the hero. Bakugo and Shizu know that both Okami and Boka will go attack them in the dark, so they get ready and put their guard. Guard up, and when they go inside of the room, they was surprised to see that Okami and and Boka is actually on the first floor, and Boka say, "Let's just get with, just fighting." Two on two. How about that? Bagu say fight with me while smirking. All of them, to, four of them start to attack each other. Bagu try to attack Moka using his explosion, and Moka attack Bakugo using his flame. And Okabe try to attack Shinzo using his lightning and his speed, her speed, and Moka. And Shinzo attack. Shinzo is try to capture, try to attack Okami using her his scarf. This go for a long time, and Bak Izuku, Bak Bakugo and Shinzo look at each other and nod, and they they go at jump at each other, and they somewhat make a tag team to change their. Opponent, Moka is fighting Shinzo right now, and Shinzo, 
and Okami is fighting Bakugo. Moka tried to attack Shizo using his flame, and Shizo using his scarf. Throw at Moka, and and I forgot to say this. Aizawa seen this, and he was surprised to see that Shizo actually quite good, use somewhat good using the scarf, and he was surprised to know that Shizo can use the scarf quite good. Can even use the scarf at all. And Izuku say, "You must be surprised, right?" And I said, "You see, Shizo is is a big fan of you, so, and he want to know how you do it. So we somewhat do somewhat find a video of you using your scarf, and we try. So we try to create how you movement. So that how he can use your scarf. And she, and Izawa say, oh." So that how and Izawa just realized something. Wait, does it mean that you can? And Izuku say, "Yup, I can use your scarf as well." Izawa jaw was dropped, and he think to himself, "Not only this kid is good, as strong, but he know how to learn from just watching a video." This kid really are something. This kid is something else. Oil smirking. And anyone, nobody seeing this. They have to focus. We're fighting Mocha, of the fight, of the match. Shinzo say, "Hey, Mocha, so when will you marry? When will you?" When will be... no? He say so. What the kid name? Moka say, huh? And she just say, you know, of your, or your kid of middle, of you and Izuku. Mo Moka was blushy and he say, what? Why are you? And she, Moka just realize what she do just do and she just more and say, gotcha. And. And Moka is under Shizo brainwash, and Shizo immediately go capture Moka using his capture tape, and everyone was confused to what just happened. And Izuku say that, oh, Shizo quote is actually called brainwash. He can brainwash someone's mind if he want to do anything. If he want to ask anyone to do something, he want. Everyone was surprised, and Kirishima say, "Wait, but his strength. I thought his he has super strength. Like he has a super strength." And Izuku say, "Nah, we just train a lot." Everyone jaw was dropped to see that Izuku just proved he can be strong enough without a quirk, and Shizu already this strong, and he. Her squirt not a physical quirk. And Kirishima say, um, Izuku, can you train me some sometime? And Izuku say, oh, oh, sure. Shizu, anyway, Shizu kept catch a boka and Okami see this and he say, she think, damn it. Can they make moka? How can you be so easily before by that? And Baku say, "Oh yeah, so so in so will you so when are the wedding? I really want to be the I want to be the I want to be the best man. I want to be his best man." And Shizu say, "Hey, that my job." And Baku say, "Screw off! I know him longer." And Boka say. That's too early. We just, we just engage. We just, he just still our fiance, and we have to end our, our study of high school first. And Okami just realized that there's that just what a distraction, distraction, 
And Baku immediately say, Gotcha! And Shinzo is actually behind Okabe and Shinzo hit Okabe on the head and Bakugo go to attack Okami on her stomach. And Bakugo and Shinzo immediately using their capture tape and capture Mon Okami and all might say the hero team win. Everyone was surprised and come up confused and they look at Izuku and ask what are those all about and Izuku say that well you see I'm actually engaged to both of them and that made me their fiance everyone jaw was dropped and they there was a silent and then they say what? I will end it right here. If you like it, please subscribe and leave a like and comment. What type of what if or gacha video I should make. Anyway, see ya. Bye bye.